Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are yet again back on the official diesel and iron simulated job site. And today we are talking about doing slopes using your laser and grade rod. This is something that I didn't know how to do when I was on the end of the grade rod. So learning this has actually been really interesting. It's actually a really valuable tool to having your quiver. So let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do, when you set up your laser, you do need to pay attention to the orientation of the unit. You're gonna notice we have these markings up here on the top of the unit. Those are sight guides to put you in line with your slope. So if we were running a pipe at this point and we wanted to put a 2% slope on it, we would need to make sure that these sight lines that I've got set up are in line with the direction that our pipe is gonna be going. So that's the first thing we need to do. The second thing we need to do is actually put the laser into manual mode. On this particular laser, I don't want you to get caught up in the button pushes on this laser because each laser is different and you're gonna need to refer to your laser's manual to get the correct button push. That being said, we're gonna put the laser into manual mode. I do it with two clicks, that puts it into slope mode. So one of the first things that we're gonna do, the laser is still operating in its level position right now. So I'm going to take a reading and I'm going to get a spot that I know is level with the laser. The challenge doing this is going to be making it to where I can reach everything and, and do the video at the same time. So bear with me here. Okay, so we now have our spot where we know it's level. In an ideal situation, what you would wanna do is pick this spot at, a, at an even interval from the laser. So call it 10 feet away. Why is that, you ask? Well, because that makes math easy. So if we want a 2% slope and we take our measurement 10 feet away from the laser, that means that now that we have our even mark marked on the laser, I can drop this down two tenths and that will be a 2% fall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that I am 10 feet away from the laser. I'm not, I'm aware of that, you're aware of that. Pretend, for the sake of this video, that I took this measurement 10 feet away from the laser and we're going to take this second measurement 10 feet away from the laser. So we're gonna simulate a 2% slope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eye where it is right now, we're gonna move it down two tenths. Well, I'm currently sitting two marks below four tenths. So I wanna be two marks below two tenths. So I've just moved down the rod two tenths. Now we're gonna face our laser, and now I'm going to take my down button, and I'm going to hit it and hold it. And the laser's slowly going to start tilting down in the direction of our sight lines. That's why it was so important to line up our sight line. And what will happen is you're gonna hear it start beeping at me when we start getting in range. So I'm gonna click and hold down. And this is a slow process. You wanna go slow and take your time. So I realized that took a lot longer than I thought it was. And I also realized that I told you to push down, but I actually pushed up. Let me explain why. So we are currently on the back side of the laser. When you push the down button, it's going to tilt the laser down going away from you. And we are on this side of the laser. So I actually had to tilt it up to make this side go down. If you imagine the laser, it's like a teeter totter. So as one side goes up, the other side goes down. And so what I did is we're on the back side of the laser, so I had to go the opposite direction. So make sure you've got your laser lined up the right way and you can push the correct button like I told you to. I apologize for the confusion. The second thing that happened is I was going nice and slow. You heard the laser, we actually went down, we went a little too far and then I brought the laser back up. And then when I let go of that button, I bumped it a little bit, which is why the laser then stopped spinning for a second and then spooled back up once it got comfortable. So we are currently sitting right now if we put our mark here. That is currently sitting at a 2% slope coming downhill this direction. So if we were running our pipe out past the camera, you would see that we would be running that pipe at a 2% slope downward. We could do the same with a 2% slope upward. That's how you manually set a slope with this laser. Now let's go about it from the direction of, I have one point here and I have another point over here how do I figure out the slope between them? It's really simple. So you would set your laser up, you would set it to level, you would take your reading at the first point, make sure that you've got it set. You would then go to your second point, but this time you don't move your laser eye, you keep the laser eye. So let's, real world example, I'm not gonna be able to reach the buttons to physically move the laser, but let's take a real world example. Let's say I wanted to figure out the slope from where I'm standing right now to up on that mound. So I would take my reading and be in line, which I am. Now I'm gonna go up here on the dirt pile 
And without moving my laser eye, I'm gonna have my buddy go over there to the laser and start dialing the laser up or down, depending on where you're at, whether it's uphill or downhill, until this starts beeping. Now we have a slope set that's gonna be a consistent slope from point A to point B, and now we just need to run our grade and follow that line. You can both match existing slopes, or you can program a slope in without using physical numbers, but by using the eye and the laser and the grade rod all together. So I hope this hasn't been too confusing. This is a little bit difficult of a subject to cover without showing someone physically on the job site. If you do have questions, absolutely don't hesitate to reach out. I'll do what I can to answer. And if I do need to make a follow-up video on this one, I have no problem doing that. So thanks for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and we'll see you on the next video.